What's good, YouTube? I'm Lenny, and he's Carl. Hey. And this is Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4 Part 2. All right, and right away, as soon as we walk out here, it's going to give us a little short tutorial on how to save cars in the game, and just other few basics that need to know stuff. Very important. Like you your health melodies. and how to restore your health. There's a few ways to restore your health. You can buy food from restaurants or street vendors. Uh, or you can go save your game, sleep. Those are the main ways to restore your health. But of course, there are other sexual methods in yeah, restoring I love your health. Those. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, when I first played through this game, uh, when it was telling me about restoring a health, I thought that I needed to. So when I first played this game, I went in and I bought a burger at the diner. So for traditional, I did now every time I play through this game, I go and get a burger at the diner. So I'm just going to do that real quick for tradition's sake. And I try to order and I grab a ketchup bottle. So, and, uh... Of course, after I buy my burger, I'm like, hey, might as well use that ketchup bottle for some use. And I chuck it at the lady because she called me a fat ass. Ooh, <laughs> too far. <laughs> exactly. You don't you don't mess with Nico and his ketchup bottles. <laughs> <laughs> so here I go and I grab the ketchup bottle. I'm like, oh, she's going to hate. Oh, crap. And I'm like, nope, this can't happen again. There's no way this is going to happen again. So I grab the mustard bottle and, oh, damn it. it <laughs> it's gone. So, <laughs> there you ghosts. go. Always. Alright. So now I leave and uh, quick, you know, I'm going to walk, actually walk to the car depot where you're supposed to meet Roman to take the next mission. And I'm going to walk there because, uh, quick I want to talk about, uh, in this let's play where we're trying to do 100% of this game. And in order to do that, there's a lot more you need to do than just the story missions. Uh, Which my group some people love, like it did me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so besides the story missions, you have to complete all of the drug deals, all like these other side missions. There's drug deals, 10 drug deals you need to for little Jacob. Uh, you need to win 9 single player street races for Brucey. You need to do 10 exotic exports. Uh, all 9 of the fixer assassinations, 10 taxi missions Roman gives you. You need to find 30 of Stevie's car thefts. <laughs> and, uh,. Then the dating system with your friends, you need to unlock Brucey's special ability, Little Jacob's, and Packy's. You need all their, you know, to unlock all of their special Which abilities are all through the dating system. Amazing, by the way. <laughs> you need to do every activity you can do with Brucey, Little Jacob, and Packy, which includes like drinking, eating, uh, shows, and every. You need to do every single activities you can do with Little Jacob, Brucey. And Packy, you need to beat a friend at pool, beat a friend at darts. You need to beat someone at a full game of bowling. You need to get the high score on the cubed arcade game, which that surprised me. I didn't know you had to do that. You need to complete all of the random character side missions, uh, all of the most wanted side missions from the police computer. Uh, which takes forever. There's 30 of them. 20 vigilante missions from the police computer. 50 stunt jumps, which I actually absolutely hate the stunt jumps, and 200 pigeons, finally, to get 100%. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where it gets hard. <laughs> That's where it gets hard, yeah. Hopefully, we will be doing all of that, uh, so you can look forward to that. This might actually be a very long Let's Play. It could split up into a lot of parts if we're going to do that. <laughs> Which I think we can pull off, so we're looking forward to that. And right now, we're going to activate the cutscene for the mission. It's your call, so we'll see you after the cutscene. Come on, big guy, either do some work or get out of here. We don't need jokers. Screw you! Screw you! Baby, when I look into your eyes, it means something. I see little Romans, I see little Mallories, I see stars, I see angels. In my homeland, we have a saying. Yeah, we got one too. You're a fag. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> Roman, you fucking idiot. How can I take you seriously? Very difficult, I think. <laughs> Hello, Roman. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Miss. <laughs> Mallory, this is my cousin I tell you about, Nico. Hi. Nico, this is Mallory, the beautiful girl I tell you about. See? Not everything I tell you is bullshit. I bet most of it was. Hey. I hope you're less full of shit than your cousin over here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is the woman that I'm going to marry. <laughs> Whatever you say. I thought you were going to marry me, <laughs> baby. Hey, what? <laughs> Great! You're fucking crazy, man! <laughs> you should lose a few pounds. 
Otherwise, this beautiful lady is good to do it. Uh, no, uh, I'm a fat prick. What can I do? Uh, are you uh, dead? I uh, will well do, man. We spoke of this. No, we didn't speak. You spoke. Then you say your phone out of batteries. You treat me like a bitch. Never. I didn't treat you like an idiot, not a bitch, huh? <laughs> I guess it's true. The beautiful woman do like the guys with a funny sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Ho, ho. I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll get you the money. I know. And Roman, tell this fucking yokel here, if he doesn't stop staring at me, I'll have his head chopped off and put a film of it on the internet! Ah. Oh, good. Great. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Look, say what you like, but at least that guy knows how to speak to a lady. Yes, he's all charm. Come on, Nico, let's go. Darling, I... I'll see you later. I've got to take my cousin around some more. Get him settled. So we had a few uh, character introductions there. Obviously, Vlad, the Russian loan shark, our cousin's loan shark, and Mallory. Don't like him. Don't, don't like him. him? Yeah, I don't like him either. He's <laughs> kind of a prick. Anyway, there's also Mallory, who is Roman's girlfriend in the also, game. Also, greet Aaron, by the way. Yeah, I'm sorry, I went over. What? Oh, I did. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Don't mind my driving here. And, uh, the radio stations in this game I want to talk about real quick is there's a lot of great radio stations. There's pretty much there's a style music for everybody in this game. So I'm going to be, while we're doing the missions and while we're doing this Let's Play in general, I'm going to be switching up the radio stations so you're not listening to the same thing every time. But there may be a few things that you don't like or whatever. But I'm going to try to switch it up <laughs> still. Alright, I'm going to give you some variety. Yeah, and you might see a little more of the radio stations that uh, I favorite. Because they'll, play, they'll, they'll be played more. And they're awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to the uh, hardware store. In this game where it's actually a front for a gambling, some illegal gambling thing that Roman's going to. And uh, we're also going to get introduced to uh, the phone system in this game, which in every single Grand Theft Auto game, there's always some kind of communication device, whether it's a pager or a cell phone or a cell phone that's bigger than your head, in reference to San Andreas and Vice City there. But either way, there's always a, some sort of communication device, and here we're gonna, Roman's going to give us our cell phone. And, uh, real, yeah, <laughs> he, he's got some new ones, so he gives us his old ones, so he gives us the crappy thing that he has. That's still nice. I wish a friend would do uh, that for me. Real quick in this cutscene, fun fact about this cutscene is, uh, normally in every, uh, in every mission in the game, whenever a vehicle is referred to, they always call it like an SUV or sedan or something. This is the one of only four, I believe it's only four missions in the game where they refer to the actual name of the car. As you see, Roman referred to it as a shitty beige Willard, where the the name of the car is actually a Willard. So I believe this is one of only four missions to actually call a car by its actual name. So that's just a quick fun fact about Enough text. You know, pandas have six fingers. Pandas have six? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Wish I had six fingers. Oh, nice. So yeah, we're looking out for our Willard here, and uh, I think Ro after Rome, Rome's gonna call us here, and I think I'm gonna switch up a few of the settings on the phone, just because I don't like the crappy so ringtone that they give you Roman. to start out with. You winning? Mm -hmm. And after we get, because we'll get another phone later in the game, and I'll switch up the background so you don't have to listen to that, or look at that crappy background that the game gives you at the very beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah, there's a few backgrounds you could do. I believe there's the Sprunk, there's the Sprunk background, the Heat Gum background, I think that's the name of the Heat. I think that's the name of the gum in anyway. Yeah. So the people that are going to show up here, the Albanians who actually just rounded the corner there, are the another loan shark because Roman has is in serious debt here. The Albanian mafia he owes money to, and also the Russians. Yeah, he's got some problems. People like that. <laughs> so yeah, they're going to walk into the uh, store there, and we're ro warning Roman that they're coming in. They must have been told I was here. So now we have to lose them here, and uh, I don't even think you have to actually lose them. Like you can drive away pretty quick, like I did, and they'll. But once you get to a certain point, it, to to like close to the 
to the taxi depot, then they'll actually stop following you. So you don't really need to lose them. You just gotta drive to the taxi depot. <laughs> but you don't have to follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I almost hit that guy. Did you see that? Seriously. Oh, God. Barrel roll. <laughs> yeah, he barrel rolled out of the way. <laughs> Sometimes life just calls for a barrel roll. <laughs> those would be one of those times. People confuse those with other times. But those are not barrel rolls. You don't no, understand no. the way things work! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we got our phone. <clears throat> now we got to drive Rome back. It is a Russian model. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Be careful yes. of them. Life of the situation right here. <laughs> yeah. I think the Albanians actually have guns and they'll start shooting at you. If you get too close, or if you let them fall too close. Well, we are not letting them do that. Yeah. Because that would be bad for your health. Yeah. <laughs> People shooting at you don't, doesn't tend to go well at the doctors. They are really pissed. Doctors in Liberty City. I can only wish. See you later, cousin. Most of the major so yeah, we're gonna save it here, and uh, this is actually coming to a end of uh, this part. So uh, this has been Carroy, and we will see you in part three. See. Hey, have you ever had a nightstick up your ass? Well, I have, and it gives.